your first drive in our 2021 Mach 1 Mustang. By the time you've seen this video, about a couple weeks has probably gone by for you, but I've only actually owned the car for uh, 53 miles and about four days. So first things first, I am glad to be back in a manual. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. But anyway, you know, that was a really tough decision was do I go 10R80 or do I want to go with the Tremec? And I just kind of figured that, you know, we might as well, if you're going to buy a Mach 1, you have to go with this color, which is the most popular one, I know. But the transmission choice was really tough because they had a white Mach 1 uh, next to this one when I was shopping around. And it had cloth interior, but it had the 10R80. And it looked good. I drove both and I walked away at the end of the day really torn between the two so the Mach 1 10 r is updated from the regular Mustang GT you guys may not know that so I consulted with some really good friends of mine and thought about it really long and hard and decided that uh, if we're gonna buy a Mach 1 it had to be with the Tremec you know because it's exclusive same with this this color this paint coat even though it's the most popular one out there the Jet Fighter Gray it is exclusive to the Mach 1 otherwise you might as well just go buy a Mustang GT, honestly. That's just my personal opinion. I actually put a poll up on uh, social media that you guys all commented on, and it was actually very, very 50-50. So I haven't owned a manual Mustang in quite some time. I've driven plenty over the past couple of years, and I really love it, but I'm having a blast. Listen to this. Automatic rev match. This also has flat foot shifting. We're not going to be testing that in today's video. I've got 55.6 miles on this car already. So by the time you're seeing this, a couple of weeks has passed for you as far as content goes. But this is actually my fourth day of ownership in this car. And I'm loving every single second of it. I just need to get out in here and drive it. I'm not going to go crazy or do anything wild until about... I, I'm going to baby it for about 500 miles. That's generally what I do. I'll change a wheel. And then I'll be I'll drive it a little bit more aggressive, you know, kind of like I would normally do. Because honestly, after about 250 to 300 miles, your rings are pretty much set anyway. That's just kind of my break-in procedure. I do like to change oil at 500, and then also at a thousand miles. Honestly, don't even miss the Camaro that we had for about three months. We'll just pretend like that never happened. Okay, it's kind of like Android versus iPhone. You know, every year a new one comes out. Every year the the Android comes out, and I'm like talking to my wife, and I'm like, man, it's got all these features and cool stuff. Off, let me try it and my wife's like nope you're gonna hate it even if you buy it about a month later you're gonna want to be back in an iPhone it's because I'm so heavily inversed into the Mustang community I know this chassis and like the back of my hand and I, I know what to do I know what not to do I know just everything about it and I love it I really do love the S550 you know at least I got to I guess own the ZL1 and get it out of my system and I didn't really lose a lot, which is important when I went to go trade it in because of today's market. You know, everything being crazy with the used car stuff. All these dealerships are giving people like top dollar for their trades, but. This Tremec six speed is perfect. Perfect, the same one out of the GT350. You know, it's interesting too. I've already seen in the comments already, a lot of people are like, 90% of you guys know what this car is, okay? And you appreciate it very much because it's not just a GT with a couple of bolt-ons. It is a parts-bin car with all the right parts though, but it's much more than that, honestly. I've made videos in the past, I've driven these cars in the past, and um, the more I've learned about them since releasing that content and doing the hard research, which I wanna make a video exclusively around this, what actually is in a Mach 1 that makes it so special, okay? It's much more than just the highlights, okay? Tremec, 5.0, and different wheels, okay? It's much more than that. All of the suspension is pretty much GT350. Think about it like this. This is a GT350 with a regular S550 interior, a regular S550 body with a Coyote. The twisty roads up here. so bad <laughs> this thing is um this thing is so much more that people give it credit for those that don't know recently at VIR they took a Mach 1 handling package and they actually beat the 
lap time, the recorded the record lap, lap time back in 2016 or 17 it was, with a GT350R, which is impressive. Now, take that for what it's worth. There's a separation of weather and multiple years there and drivers and so on and so forth. However, comma though, for it to be like 0.4 seconds faster, which is what they recorded, but even if it's not, if you were to do that same test head to head today, the fact that the Mach 1 is even in the same league as a GT350R should speak a lot of volume. It really should. So here, I'm going to just take this little turn here. It's really cold. Grip, 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 grip. I'm in the normal setting. This suspension is very different. Very, very different than a performance package Mustang GT. This is, this is beautiful. It's like a freaking scalpel, dude. Rev match, love it. I like shifting gears. I really, really have missed it. So we're gonna be road coursing this car. We're gonna be drag strip racing this car, but I do wanna lower it. But honestly, I don't think that you, I almost don't wanna touch it. It's so good. Um, if we put it into track, let's put it into track. See how things get, oh yeah, you can, that's crazy, dude. Uh, 40 mile an hour and I can feel the suspension get firm. In the Mustang Performance Package GT, you can't feel the difference. You can't feel transition like that. So now the car's a little bit more bumpy and stuff like that. So it's basically got GT350 and GT500 suspension underneath of the car. Like I said, uh, the, the, the mass population out there, the majority of people don't know what this car actually is. I'm not going to set any records with this Tremec 6-speed, but I wanted to come back. I, like I said, if I, if I came back to the S550, to the Mustang, and I came back to an S550, I wanted to tell a different story than what we had done before. So I did not want a GT350 regular one. I would have taken an R, but with today's market, it's like three-year-old car, brand new. And this is the new hotness now. Set these turns up here. See if we can carry some speed. I can't freaking dog it through it. I can't go crazy, but let's just see what this feels like with a little speed in track mode. Everything is so firm. I've been in GT350s before and they didn't feel like this. This is stiff. triple digits through that but you should be able to tell there's nothing this thing is so composed i'm speechless i can't even you know i can't even talk straight oh my gosh dude this thing is oh oh i'm gonna have so much fun we're gonna get in trouble with this car this is gonna be this is gonna be really fun being able to make content and story tell with this car which is gonna be pretty much exclusive to this channel because and I can promise you this nobody is gonna make the content that we're gonna make with this car on YouTube it's not gonna happen one because not enough people own them two like I, I sat down the other night and started drafting like video titles ideas and everything and I had just so much at the end of it I mean I've got months full of content of just different specific things revolve around just the Mach 1. We are going to make so much content with this car. It's going to be, we're going to steal the, we're just going to steal the show. This is not going to get hacked up. Uh, we're not going to be putting ice tanks and all that other crap into this car. I might actually just do like a full NA build. I don't know yet. Um, if I do supercharge it, I'll make a video about this in the future. If we do boost this thing, what direction do I want to go? Because I, honestly, I don't know if I want gobs and gobs of power in this car. I, I want more and we want more sound. That's going to be coming. Exhaust is already like on the way, but I I don't know. I don't want to upset the balance of the car. It feels so good. Coming from the ZL1 
you know, it's a pretty flat car. This this thing feels really good. I mean, just wow. I'm impressed, guys. I am I am going 60 mile an hour, and I'm freaking shocked. And you wouldn't think you'd be able to tell uh, anything about a car from going at speeds, but yeah, I can. I can tell you this is different. We are on to something here. Good job, Ford. I think Ford pulled a fast one on us, guys. Uh, they saved the best for last. This might be it.